Hey guys, let's take a look at the Patchworm Cleaning Kit for cleaning airgun rifle barrels. This system retails for about $20. Actually, it's about $12 for the system. And then if you want to get in a bunch of extra patches, which I would recommend, that's about eight or nine bucks. So you're looking at right about $20 for everything that I'm about to show you. So in the kit, what you're gonna get is basically everything here minus my Southern Precision Air Weapons Challenge coin. That's mine. Um, on the bag itself, you can see it's got 20 cal, 22, 243, 308, 355, 41, 50. It's got calibers listed. And those caliber listings go along with these little plugs. For my use today, I'm probably gonna end up using the 22. So let me get that out of there and close this so I don't lose them. These little um, containers, very important to keep these. Open them slowly. They've got little uh, tabs here to uh, help you to open and close this under control because <laughs> you don't want to flip this open and fling these all over the room. Also in the bag you'll have a bunch of small patches that have been soaked in ballastol. Um, kind of nice having them in here. They won't uh, dry out for quite a long while and you can always have these with you for that you know uh, solution style of cleaning. And you'll also get a small um, supply of patches as well, 7 8 inch patches. Here's the actual cord itself. And let's see, it's about three feet long. And on one end, you'll see this little green guy here. What you'll do is put whatever caliber plug you need plug, sleeve, whatever you want to call it, put that on there until it runs into that. Now, you can see this is pretty loose. It'll slide back and forth. So once you have this in place, kind of keep track of it. Make sure it stays on there uh, before you use the system. You can use regular patches with this system, but it is kind of designed to use its own circular style patches. And I'll show you why. That'll, that'll come out later on in the video. Um, so is that a pro or a con? That's kind of up to you to decide. I mean, you do get 500 patches for nine bucks. Um, and you can make your own. By all means, you can totally make your own. I'll show you how this works. Like I said, my little, my little plug's on there for 22 caliber. Because this is 22, this is 25, and I just don't want to change it later on. You stab the patch right through the middle and then run it all the way down to the end. After that, you can feed it into your rifle. Now this cord, this uh, wire, this plastic wire does have a point on it. And, oh, I forgot my straw. Always have a drinking straw when cleaning a rifle. So the reason I use the drinking straw is because this curve, this natural curve, this memory that this cord has, once it comes out of your barrel, it's going to naturally go in whatever direction it's pointing at, in this case up, and it's going to hit the baffles, it's going to hit your shroud, and it's going to ride right to the end cap, or it's going to hit every baffle in your silencer. <laughs> so always have a drinking straw so that you can make this system work. So what you see here, guys, is the patch is being you know, backed up by the plug, backed up by this piece here, which I imagine is plastic welded onto the cord. Now see how it's at a bit of an angle here, trying to go into the barrel? This is what you want to avoid. You want to try to assist this. Once that plug kind of goes in there, you're pretty good, but you still want to try to assist it right into the barrel. The reason you want to do that is if you don't, you stand a chance of ripping that plug right through the patch. Also, you're putting strain on the whole system, which isn't good for anything, um, but you put strain on it and you kind of push yourself towards, I don't know, maybe breaking your system. I haven't broken mine, but I kind of clued on to that little trick right away. Another thing it does is in air guns, you've got the O-ring there, and this is gonna help alleviate any stress or strain if your O-ring is still in, in your gun. Pull it through, it's gonna naturally take out my drinking straw as well. 
and there you go. So here's the patch from this one pull that I just ran through the gun. What you can see is that it's got dirt on it. Well, that's what you want. You're cleaning a barrel. This system is still grabbing dirt from a barrel that's been cleaned over and over and over again. This is one of the last systems I'm going to cover, and there's a reason why I'm doing it last, and it's to show you that this system, it's caliber specific, and when you put, push this in there, you're going to know that you're getting a good, thorough cleaning with this system. And I mentioned the caliber specific because it's part of such a good cleaning. The caliber specific plug is pushing that patch. There's just not enough room for the plug and the patch to go through the barrel real easy. So it's actually kind of pushing that patch into the rifling and you're, you're getting in there nice and deep. This is my second run through, still getting dirt. So one thing I noticed with this system is that you can, yeah, you're buying, you know, you're buying special patches. <laughs> and, you know, I'm kind of cheapskate. I don't like spending money where I don't have to. It's like this is cotton cut up into little circles. So, you know, at some point in my head, it kind of annoys me. I'm buying, you know, something I can make. But here's the cool part. I ran this through. I ran this through once, right? Zip, and I clean. When I take it out, like I said, I'm kind of cheap this way, I can actually turn the patch over and use it again. Because this system, when it runs this patch through, it, it's only using one side to grab the dirt. The other side's perfectly clean. There's nothing wrong with it. So, I mean, unless you're, you're saturated with, uh, you know, ballastol, some kind of type of cleaning agent, you can reuse your patches once you're going dry. All right, guys, I've changed my plug to the white one because this is a 22 barrel. And I just stabbed a patch. And by the way, these are all dry patches I'm using for this video. I haven't ran any of the ballastol ones through. So all that dirt you're seeing is with a dry patch. Same thing as before, I'm gonna make sure this enters square towards the breech. Give it a yank. Nice tight fit in there. She comes through the other end and again this one just like that barrel this barrel has been put through the ringer of cleaning and cleaning cleaning through multiple videos recorded before this one and I'm still getting dirt. From my experience it's saying something about the cleaning system and how well it's working. So, like I said before, I can just flip that patch over, run it in, run it through, and you notice how it took that half a second just to pause and make sure this is entering the barrel correctly. Uh, you want to do that with this system. So let's go over some of the pros and cons of this system. I'll start with the cons. Um, you have to buy special patches. Uh, have to is a bit of a stretch. Yeah, you can make your own, but it's going to be a pain in the butt. So you're better off just buying your special patches. Uh, for nine bucks, you get 500 patches. That's more on the pro side, yeah. It's kind of a tedious system to use. And what I mean by that is when you lead this in to your gun, you have to remember, well, first off, you have to remember if it's on the gun, you need your accessory drinking straw. It does not come with one. You need that in order for it to clear the barrel, come out the other end. The tedious part comes because you do want to remember to lead this in when you go to use the system, that last pull. You don't want it to try to turn a corner with a straight plug. So a little bit tedious there. And then on the other end, when I get done a pull, I have to take my patch off. And to me, that's tedious. And I have to take it off and then either flip it around like I showed you guys or I have to put on a new patch. On the pro side, I think you guys already know what I'm going to say. Um, this is an, an extremely thorough cleaning system. As I mentioned before, I had been cleaning this barrel, these barrels, and I saved this one to last on purpose so I could show you guys just how thorough of a cleaning it's giving. And it's doing, it's not letting me down. Another thing on the pro side and on the con side is that it's caliber specific. 
This does come in a 177 caliber system, but it is a separate system. I think this little plug on the end here is a different size. On the con side again, is these plugs don't fit very snug around this cord. So if you hold it with the wrong side up and you're not paying attention, your little plug can spiral right down here and fall on the ground and then can get kicked wherever. Another point on the pro side, it's pretty easy to use. I mean, it's a simple pull through system. While it is tedious, it's a simple process of putting it in there, guiding it a little bit and pulling it through. And on the uh, open barrel, as always, it's even easier. <laughs> so guys, that's pretty much all I've got on the patchworm system. Um, when it comes to pull through style of cleaning systems, I think this is second to none. That's my personal opinion on it. <laughs> as always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy shooting and thanks for watching.